Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Mountain Harmony Gardening. I'm Kristen, and today is pretty much the last day for me to be gardening. There is a lot that needs to be done in the garden today. We have already finished harvesting everything that we need to out of the garden. But now to kind of get a jump on fall cleaning up, we need to clean up this whole entire garden bed. So if you take a look around, you'll see that the zucchini are completely done. The tomatillo has been harvested and it is all done. But a lot of flowers that are growing around the outside of the bed, we're gonna go ahead and leave because there are still some bees out. And also the dahlias get a different treatment. And once they freeze, I will show you what we do with them because we definitely want to save this one because this is the second year Dahlia and I'm going to hope to get a third and hopefully it'll be like really, really big. <laughs> so I'm going to set up the camera. We're going to do a time lapse and we're going to show you completely taking this garden bed down because now's the time of the year where the weather is getting cold. We have to do this. took down almost everything in this garden. The only thing we didn't take down is the stevia plants. My, was that citronella? Yes, that's a citronella plant. All the flowers around the outside because there's still bees, like I said, and our dahlia. All of this can stay for now and all of the leaves in the bed can stay too because we want to cover up and protect our beds over winter time. Now I want to show you what has happened. <sighs> to our brassicas. Um, oh, they're bad. If you could get a close up, Donnie. There we go. You can see in there, these are all aphids. My plants are absolutely covered in aphids. Now this is my perennial kale, but with aphids, unfortunately that bad, I'm gonna have to take out this whole entire bed. And even these, even the collard greens have aphids. I was trying to harvest a couple leaves the other day and down where the leaf meets the stem, they're bad. They've got aphids too. So this whole entire bed is gonna get a complete reset. So we're gonna cut everything down and you'll notice that we're throwing away a lot of stuff because we do not wanna be putting aphids back in the garden. So here's another time lapse of taking down this whole entire bed. Whew. Okay, some of those roots on those collard greens and on the kale were pretty tough and woody because they had perennialized but I just had to take it all down. They were just absolutely covered in aphids. And when it comes to that point, you know, you don't want to try to save a perennial plant when you can just plant more next year. So yeah, that's why I had to get out the big clippers for that one. Now we're going to move on to another part of the garden. Sorry if you guys can hear construction behind me, but they're still working on that roof back there. And I figure I just got to film anyways, because it's getting late in the day. So we're gonna go ahead and take out the pepper plants. We've harvested everything off of them. And when you're taking out any of these plants, you just wanna to go to ground level and just cut them off. Just, well, knock over my light too in the meantime, <laughs> like that. And then you can kind of just take the clips that you've used off and save those. And there you go. And the reason we are not saving these this year is because the pepper plant back here that you can't quite see is the one that we overwintered last year and most of them died except for that one. And that was the one that didn't flower and do anything last year. It still didn't flower and do anything this year, even though I saved in the house. 
So I'm not gonna do that again. I think in our climate it is easier for us to just go ahead and start fresh. So I'm gonna take down only the peppers. The rest of the garden bed will stay. I saved this one for last before I cut it down because look, here all the way at the end of the season, I have a couple of blooms. <laughs> is definitely not gonna do anything and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down, but I wanted to show you, this is all it did all year long. This is it. So it definitely wasn't worth it to save my pepper plants, at least in my climate. Maybe in a couple years, I'll try it again if I have a plant that's doing really well. But for now, it's coming down. So I wanted to talk about one of the reasons why I don't just rip the plants out of the ground. It's because whatever is below the surface, all the roots will decay and become beneficial food for all the beneficial bugs that are in here. The other thing that you want to do is go ahead and make sure that you pull out all of your plastic tags that you have in here because you don't want those decomposing into your garden. And with some of these, like the ones that I write myself, I want to go ahead and save. The rest of these we'll get rid of. And our drip irrigation is still here, but our water is so full of sediment that this just plugged. So drip irrigation is not a good solution for us. But next year, I do have a solution that hopefully will work in this area. So our long bed, we have already pretty much taken care of and done as much as we can in this kind of last day of gardening as possible. I could probably harvest a few more herbs out of here, like we got some parsley that's still growing, and I could harvest that. But the rest of it, I have already harvested, other than I think there's a couple chives in here. But we wanna go ahead and just let the rest of this go. We'll harvest a little bit more Swiss chard, but all this can go ahead and die back in place, especially the tomatoes behind me. We can go ahead and we can take out the tomatillo and we could do that real quick. But it is so much easier to take out your tomatoes once they have frozen. Because trying to detangle this mess right now and get all of my tomato clips back is really hard. So this is one thing that I will go ahead and let completely freeze, and then I will take this out. So for now, we'll let the bees enjoy the rest of the flowers. We'll let the rest of the leaves fall in here. And this bed is done for the season. So the pumpkin bed, I've been looking back on pictures from last year, was actually still alive at this time last year. So were the zucchini. But because we had a really, really wet fall, a lot of issues came into the garden. Powdery mildew and aphids. So that cut our crop harvest time down a lot, probably by a couple of weeks. And of course you saw that we lost our perennialized kale, which I'm really sad about, but we'll plant more next year, it'll be okay. So this pretty much concludes this video. The big things that I want you to take away from this is that go ahead and take out what you can now before the snow hits because we are very, very close to it snowing here. So thanks for watching everyone. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, 